Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus secum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, e benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. In nomine Patris, e Filii, e Spiritus Sancti, Amen. Procedamos in pace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, creator of all things, who lay down for the human race the law of work, graciously granted by the example of Saint Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the rewards you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of Blessed Paul the Apostle to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, over all these things put on love, that is the bond of perfection, and let the peace of Christ control your hearts, 
the peace unto which you were also called in one body, and be thankful. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Whatever you do, do from the heart, as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that you will receive from the Lord the due payment of the inheritance. Be slaves for the Lord Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Before the mountains were begotten, and the earth and the world were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. You turn men back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or is the watch of the night. Lord, give success to the work of your hands. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. Lord, give success to the work. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed be the Lord day by day, God our salvation, who bears our burdens. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, to Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters with us? All his sisters all with us. Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord.
Today we offer this holy sacrifice of the Mass with um, a, a greater sense of solemnity since we are celebrating the feast of St. Joseph the Worker. St. Joseph the husband of Mary, the foster father of our Savior Jesus Christ, uh, the, uh, the Redemptoris Custos, as uh, Pope St. John Paul II called him as he entitled the encyclical on St. Joseph. And um, this very righteous, this just man of holiness, of chastity and great virtue, who dedicated himself to doing the Lord's uh, bidding and serving the mission of the Redeemer. And so we celebrate uh, this feast with uh, greater solemnity and thanksgiving. Uh, and we celebrate the solemnity because um, uh, St. Joseph is also a protector of the church. He guarded the Blessed Virgin Mary, he guarded the, our Savior Jesus Christ, and he looks after all of us. And so we look to him as our um, sort of spiritual foster father as well. And um, we uh, would do well to increase our devotion to St. Joseph. He is a man's man in the true sense of the word. And um, he uh, models the masculine virtues and their complementarity with the feminine virtues uh, according to God's plan. And in the times in which we're living with so many challenges, um, and so not, not only the coronavirus kind of challenges and the financial fallout that fr comes from that, but I would say even much more, because those things affect the body in a certain way. But uh, I'm talking about the challenges to soul, um, the undermining of virtue, the undermining of marriage and family life, the hostility, open hostility to uh, innocent human life in the womb and even newborn children seeming to grow more and more perilous in the environment wherein uh, people uh, treat human life as so disposable, the weak and the vulnerable. St. Joseph, surely, the scriptures don't give us a treatise on St. Joseph and all these details, but we're told he was a righteous man. He was chaste. He lived um, uh, this life of being a laborer. Oftentimes we use the word carpenter. He, yeah, I don't think he was limited to carpentry. If you go to the Holy Land where he lived and he worked, you, you could see that there's a lot of stonework. There's uh, all kinds of things. He was a man who had multiple skills. Uh, he wasn't uh, limited to one trade or craft. He had many. And uh, one can be certain that he took care of widows and orphans, that he um, provided service and care for people um, in such a way as to help others, uh, being a man for others, and a man who, through that, even though he's very, very quiet in the scriptures, um, he, he is uh, very quiet in the scriptures. Nevertheless, he, uh, his faith put into action speaks volumes. And so, um, uh, so we give thanks uh, for St. Joseph, we give thanks to St. Joseph, and we give thanks to Almighty God for giving St. Joseph his vocation and the means to be such an outstanding saint in the history of salvation and in the life of the church. And so uh, we, we uh, commend to his care all of those who look to St. Joseph as their patron. There are many who are named after St. Joseph, and um, what, a, what a great gift to be named after such a great saint and to emulate his example and his virtues. Um, I think um, also here at Annunciation we have a, a relic from the workshop of St. Joseph, um, and it is situated there on the gospel side of the altar off of the altar, but on the gospel side. And uh, following this mass, we, we will uh, pray the litany to St. Joseph, and uh, this will follow the final blessing, the dismissal. We'll pray the litany to St. Joseph, and then we will, I will also bless all, uh, all present here, who are here in the church with me, as well as those who are watching this live stream or uh, watching the video after the fact. 
I will bless you with the uh, relic from the workshop of St. Joseph. And uh, with that, ask the intercession of St. Joseph for all of us and all of our needs, that through um, times of plenty and um, where there's uh, things going well for us, or whether uh, the times that we're in, or even potentially worse times, we can count on St. Joseph to help us uh, to live the kind of life that we are called to as witnesses of the saving love of God. Let us offer our prayers of petition. We pray for the Universal Church under the protection of St. Joseph. There, um, she may be always um, in imitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary uh, and uh, with the protection of St. Joseph, um, be strengthened in her mission uh, to serve the Lord's purposes. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for uh, our nation and our people that um, our, all of our efforts, a society that uh, is so um, much based upon productivity of, of uh, work, of um, uh, a um, free market kind of system, that um, our work uh, be marked by our Christian character um, and it be a witness to the uh, virtuous life to which the Lord calls us, honesty and integrity in all things, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the horrible scourge of abortion, and in a special way for the uh, aid of St. Joseph in protecting the unborn, the weak, the vulnerable, the innocent, um, whether young or old, uh, all people, uh, their life as a gift from God may be respected and honored and promoted, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the sick and the suffering and those who give care to them. Uh, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of the needs we present to the Lord in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you entrusted the care of the Blessed Virgin Mary and your divine Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to Saint Joseph, who serves so uh, selflessly uh, to carry out his uh, very important role. We ask that through the intercession of Saint Joseph, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and uh, our Lord's petitions to you uh, for our needs, that you hear these things and grant all things that will enable us to do your will and come to fulfillment in our heavenly home. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, fount of all mercy, look upon our offerings, which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of St. Joseph, and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. <coughs> Lift up your hearts. <coughs> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the commemoration of Saint Joseph, you to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Pleni sunt celi et terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus qui venit in nomine domini. Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, his assisting Bishop George, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Add with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Her ipsum et cum ipsa, her in ipsa, est tibideo patri omnipotenti, in unitati spiritus sancti, omnis honor et gloria, per omnia secula seculorum. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Pater Noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, Sicur in cielo et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicur et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas en tentationem, Sed libera nos a malo. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. On you stay, qui tollis per gata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tollis per gata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, Qui tollis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the signs of your love, we may ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. The Litany of St. Joseph. 
Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Ghost, have mercy on us. God, God the Holy Ghost, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. illustrious sign of David, pray for us. light of patriarchs, pray for us. spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. chaste guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. foster father of the Son of God, pray for us. diligent protector of Christ, pray for us. head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph most just, pray for us. Joseph most chaste, pray for us. Joseph most prudent, pray for us. Joseph most strong, pray for us. Joseph most obedient, pray for us. Joseph most faithful, pray for us. mirror of patience, pray for us. lover of poverty, pray for us. model of workers, pray for us. glory of family, pray for us. guardian of virgins, pray for us. pillar of families, pray for us. solace of the afflicted, pray for us. hope of the sick, pray for us. patron of the dying, pray for us. terror of demons, pray for us. protector of holy church, Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world. Spare us, Lord. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, Lord. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. He hath made him Lord of his house and, and ruler of all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in thine ineffable providence didst vouchsafe to choose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of thy most holy mother. Grant, we beseech thee, that we may be made worthy to have him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, who livest and reignest world without end. Through the intercession of Saint Joseph, foster father of our Savior Jesus Christ and spouse of the Virgin Mary, Joseph the worker, in charity and, in, and with fidelity, may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Regina Celi, Letare, Alleluia, Qui ha que meruisti portare, Alleluia, Resurrexit, Sicut dixit, Alleluia, Horha pro nobis Deum. Alleluia. Prosit. Deo gracias. Friends, I want to make you aware that we will be, uh, we are planning to have uh, uh, public mass, uh, if we can bring everything together, so still stay attuned to our notices and our website, which will give clear instructions and so forth. Uh, we're, we're planning to 
if we can get everything together to try to have two public masses on Sunday. Uh, one will be at 9 a.m. That will be ordinary form English. And then the other will be at, I think we said 11 or 11.30 uh, on, um, and that will be the extraordinary form. Um, now, we have so many people who come to us from so far away um, that I think it's best, we, we can only accommodate a limited number of people. We cannot have more than 25% of the seating capacity of the church filled. We also have to maintain social distancing. And we have to do the sanitation practices. So uh, anyone who comes to church must wear a face mask um, uh, and uh, observe all of those protocols. So what we're going to do is uh, use a website for ticketing, and that way people can go on the website, get tickets for however many people in their household who will be coming, and um, it will, we will be able to make tickets available for X number of seats, and then that's it, so that we don't have to turn anybody away at the door. So it's important that everyone um, stay attuned to the information from the parish, so as to be able to go online, get their ticket, and then we'll be able to, uh, when they arrive, uh, to also, uh, th anyone who is sick, who has any of the symptoms um, that have been set out in relation to the coronavirus, um, they're asked not to attempt to come. Um, people who are uh, in the range of 60 and older um, uh, are encouraged to remain at home and watch mass because they're a vulnerable population, especially if they have any other, other health conditions, um, uh, to, to watch a live stream or to watch the video. But if, if there are those who do want, still want to come, uh, understand that anybody that comes does so at their own risk. We, we want to do everything we can to protect against the virus being transmitted but we cannot completely assure everyone that it's absolutely guaranteed that they wouldn't get something. So if, uh, people uh, in that range and, and older, if they come, we'd ask them to sit in a segregated area of the church so as to minimize the risk um, of coming into close contact with people outside of that, that age and uh, range and so forth. But we do ask that no one come who is uh, showing uh, symptoms that could be the coronavirus. Um, it's important to think about others and not put others at, at any uh, greater risk uh, than is necessary. So um, we are going to, we're, we're currently working to try to prepare all of the criteria and all the information. Um, we do need the assistance of volunteers because after each mass, we have to sanitize the whole church. And um, remember that the uh, obligation is dispensed, uh, the obligation to attend mass on Sunday, so that if you cannot come on Sunday, but you want to come to mass, uh, and you uh, are not uh, in, in um, uh, risk of having the, you know, you're not showing symptoms of the coronavirus, et cetera, um, uh, we're going to also have ticketing for weekday masses. And we're going to have to just see how this works. It's a trial and error kind of thing, and we're going to have to learn as we go along. We're going to have ushers to help make sure people are, are seated and are doing the social distancing requirements. Families, people who live together, uh, do not have to sit apart from a six-foot distance. Family, you know, I was speaking to a large family yesterday, and and they can, they'll, they'll take up a whole pew. Um, uh, it's 10 of them, you know, and so, uh, uh, so, and that's fine. But then we'll have staggered seating, um, so there won't be somebody in the pew behind them. It'll be two pews behind them. And um, uh, so, uh, but we have to be careful about um, couples or individuals and, and so forth, so that people who are not, um, as I say, living together, uh, et cetera, uh, they need to keep a six-foot distance away from uh, anyone else. So um, uh, we're looking also to having the opportunity for the Sacrament of Reconciliation provided. Uh, uh, I'm going to try to do that um, 
for a short period on Sunday, but then we're going to try to establish something uh, during the week, opportunities during the week. I intend to try to have the church open some during the week for people to come in and pray and meditate. But we have to have people here. We have to do it with volunteers um, because we just don't have the funding uh, to pay a security guard, etc. But we have to have somebody to monitor, to do the hospitality and security measures, as well as uh, managing the sanitation. Because anytime somebody comes in and touches things, they could possibly be passing the virus. So any, any place some people sit, those places have to be sanitized afterwards. So there's a lot to this, and, and I hope you'll understand and appreciate that. I'm asking for cooperation, and we want to do everything that we can possibly do, but we need the support to do it. And unless I have the help of people, I can't open things up. So I want to, but I need uh, good commitments, responsible commitments, uh, faithful and positive commitments uh, to help with the effort. And hopefully over time, if we, we, we learn quickly, we can do more, you know? And um, so I ask your prayers for me and, and for those who are assisting me. We're scrambling to do all that we can do. Please keep abreast of the information on our parish website. Uh, if you haven't submitted your email address, I recommend, strongly urge you to send your email address in so you can get in on our list and get the updates because things could potentially change very quickly. And we want to give accurate information. I don't want to have to turn anyone away at the doors, okay? But that means that, that everybody has to um, be updated and follow the prescribed norms, all right? So um, uh, we're op optimistic and excited about the opportunity. Uh, we don't want to have setbacks. We want to keep moving it forward. And that means by everybody working together, okay? So uh, God bless you. Uh, this afternoon at 4 p.m. we will have Vespers live streamed, so you're encouraged to join us for that. Next week, starting Tuesday, I intend to move Vespers from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. And um, uh, by that time, hopefully, there are those who want to come and be in the church to join us for Vespers. Um, that may be possible. And so, again, stay in touch so that you can get updates about the developments. All right? So God bless you, and thank you very much.